Okay, class, so um, we're reading these books. I need to teach you um, an approach to criticism. It's called semiology or semiotics, and it's the study of signs, symbols, and codes in film or literature or art or whatever. And always these things have a meaning that is not separate from the cultural context that they're within. For example, I mean, I know this sounds like sort of a grad school level term, which it is, but you actually are experts of semiology. Yes, you are. You practice it every single morning. Yep, when you're getting dressed for school. So um, I'm going to have you in a minute do a semiological analysis of your clothes. And um, so I want you to sort of tease out how these things uh, indicate the identity that you're choosing within this school environment. I might start with my top and uh, what I am wearing here is a corporate style uh, shirt. Obviously it's made to uh, have a tie with it. And so, uh, you know, sort of buttoned down here and, and, you know, it works in a business world. But then importantly, um, I don't have a tie and the top button is open. Uh, the sleeves are rolled up. So it's maybe you know, a little bit less of the hard corporate thing. You could also talk about the fact that it's blue, uh, pinstriped, maybe a little more colorful than you might have in a straight business world, uh, et cetera, et cetera. No watch on, right? I mean, that's significant. So within the context of this culture, these things all have meaning. So please take uh, five minutes and I'd like you to analyze all the semiological aspects of the clothes that you chose to wear today to school and what they say about your identity. Go. Yeah, I just, I just don't really get like what exactly it is. Like am I writing about just like how I look and like stuff like that or is it like, I'm, I, just, I don't know, I'm just kind of don't really get it. The clothes that you choose are symbolic of who you want to be in this environment that's yeah it's about your clothes and, and you know why you pick that t-shirt and why you have this bracelet on to go hang out with your friends in your neighborhood you probably wear different clothes than you would wear to friends school on a school day right yeah yeah, yeah I guess so you know when I asked you to analyze the clothes you were wearing I mean tell me tell me how far you got with that what what are some of the things you could say about clothes that I wear? Yeah. This is a t-shirt. It's out of dress code. And normally it would be the other way, mm -hmm. I guess. But I reversed it. Okay. And how about, how about like, shoes or shoes. pants or whatever else? What else? Well, the shoes are just some boots. Okay. Mm. What kind of boots? I mean, there's lots of different kinds of boots. I don't know what kind of boots these are. Just boots. But I mean, what do they mean to you? Oh. I don't know. I think they look cool. Well, my guess is that cool for you um, might refer to the fact that they're like pretty heavily creased, right? So these are not like shiny new, like, gee, look at my boots. They're so shiny and I keep them so pristine, right? Yeah. That the, the laces don't go all the way up. What's, what's uh, I don't how does that fit, that. right? I don't or know. What does that say about you? I'll do it all the way, I guess, or something. And that's part of cool too, right? Because you don't want to break too much of a sweat, right? Yeah. If you're going for cool, you, you want to project the image of like, hey, man, this comes easy to yeah, me. I'm, I'm cool. I'm sure right? Yeah. So is this is this helpful at all? Yeah, no. I'm, I didn't know it was like that. Yeah. So you're really you're really thinking about your identity in yeah. this culture. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool like what? Thank you. <laughs>
My clothes make me feel good. I wear my clothes to feel good. No. I don't know. My friends. Each shirt brings back a different memory. No, that's stupid. Um. My head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking hybrid. And you also go, how does it feel to be a retard? <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Oh, and you also took off your belt and chased her out of Nate. Well, that's not you. But it was scary. He also punched me on. I had a terrific bruise. Really? That's weird. Flex. It's not there anymore, so. <laughs> then thinking. And I was just wondering. If maybe, possibly, potentially, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. <laughs> oh, I sleep too much. My clothes make me think of all the pretty parts of life. And all the shitty parts. A million fish. I want the one fish. Where my doggy? Doggy. Dog. Another four-page paper. You are, you are yes. just nice. Why would I even respond to it? I mean, Ben, what do you think about somebody who says, you know, is the paper due during class? Because some teachers have it. Because some teachers have it. It's due at three o'clock because they know some students aren't going to have it free till after the class. What? I thought that Thank was a good girl. reason to ask. He's really, he's really, I'm gonna ask for another one now. Oh. I love my friends. <laughs> hey!
need this place. Doggy. <laughs> Hey, hey! Cut it! Cut it out! Cut it out! Cut it out! No! Ah! No! 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 What? What?